All right, so this is my full underwater rig. So this is what I use only for underwater. I, I have a different setup um, with different ports, different lenses that I use strictly for surfing and action sports. So at the core is the Liquid Eye uh, C2100 Pro model that I've been using for years. Um, I'm using that with the Canon 5D Mark IV. My standard sort of underwater best all around rig is the 16 to 35 f2.8. And I've got a gear sleeve so I can change the focal length. It's great because, you know, the angle's wide enough that I can overcome if I have any sort of visibility water clarity issues. This uh, works and it doesn't cause any distortion uh, because sometimes I also use a fisheye if the water's a little cloudier, but then you have some distortion issues. Anyway, so what I love about this rig is I'm able to change ports lens configurations very quickly, um, even in between dives, whereas I've, I've noticed a lot of other underwater photographers don't quite have the versatility and the speed that I have with this. I have, of course, the back plate for the 5D Mark IV. I'm able to make all the changes. I can shoot video, uh, make any sort of uh, cue menu adjustments while, while I'm underwater using the uh, Liquid Eye base plate. And then I've uh, added these custom uh, dive housing handles which work with my strobes. So I think this was the first time probably this has been done that there's a surf housing with underwater strobes and I have to thank um, Phil and um, John and Nura and the whole team at Liquid Eye for helping me put this together. This was this was a challenge. So these are you know pretty much state-of-the-art strobes throw a very beautiful even balanced light uh, and they're synchronized with a special fiber optic cable. The great thing about that is, I'll show you, I'll pop this off. So also uh, these uh, quick release handles allow me to change my configuration really fast. So for example, uh, earlier in this trip, we were, we were passing some sperm whales. So I was able to pop these off, jump in the water and be ready in less than five minutes to jump in with, with you know, huge, fast moving, more like a surf type shoot. So we have these um, uh, marine grade um, Velcro on the back that sticks the fiber optic cable. So the great thing about this is of course there's no, we didn't drill any holes in the housing. So the way that this works is again, this is a very customized thanks to the guys at Liquid Eye. So this is uh, a special LED trigger. So the way this works is it goes on the hot shoe because of course the 5D Mark IV and, and most pro cameras don't have a built-in flash. So the idea is we synchronize the strobes with the um, uh, mini, mini LED flash on the hot shoe. So I'm hoping this will come out in the camera, but we'll see. What we ended up doing is the, you know, the space inside the housing is quite compact. So the Liquid Eye guys actually rewired this whole thing. So that's why the wires are kind of everywhere, but it fits inside the surf housing, which is, again, like I said, a first. So here, basically what happens, I'll, I'll demo. Um, so this is a small, tiny LED. And when I trigger the uh, button on the, on the camera, it actually fires a tiny little flash. And that runs on this little, tiny watch battery. And these, you know, uh, another great thing about this is it, 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 it draws such a tiny amount of electricity. The last time I was here in Rajamba, it was February, I shot 14,000 photos on one battery and it still was going. So basically to show you how this works, to finish this part, um, I attach, this is a tiny fiber optic cable to my uh, housing. And I'll just show you just a simplified version here. So basically the strobe is connected and I'll point it so blast out the light here. So basically you can see when I hit the trigger, my uh, strobe is firing. So again, it, it's uh, pretty groundbreaking. It's, it's, it's got all the advantages to me of an action sports setup, but then I'm able to do uh, great, you know, underwater deep, deep diving shots. So yeah, let me show you more about what I'm using. So I'll put these aside. So um, at the surface, I'm using this big, um, super large um, dome. So this is for split shots. You can't really dive with this because of the buoyancy. It's, it's very difficult. But um, with this, usually what I'll do is I'll rig this with the um, 8 to 15 fisheye. Love this lens or the 16 to 35. So those are the two lenses that I use with the 
with the with the large dome. Then for deeper diving, uh, the the fisheye is kind of my um, for really super wide reef shots and and this large animals like whale sharks or whales, actual whales. Um, I use the eight to fifteen fisheye, and the great thing about this is you get very close to the subject, so it can make the water look almost like it's not there. Uh, amazing, amazingly clear shots underwater with this. So I use this uh, small dome port um, for the fisheye, but then I also started using it, using the spacer. This is a very handy um, rig that I've only seen with uh, liquid eye. So this, this is a spacer port. So basically what this does is, is it extends the port. I don't know what that is, maybe two inches, but it's enough that I can change uh, the lens. So this basically just screws in and I use this now, if I know I'm going to go deep, I'm underwater, I use this convex dome with the 16 to 35 because the, the pressure of the water, you know, every time you go down 10 meters, the pressure doubles. So I actually have had a slight bit of um, kind of convex bending on the flat port when I'm at say 30 meters which can cause the edges of the photos to be a little soft. So you obviously don't want that. Of course, the standard liquid eye um, pistol grip. Um, this, again, I use this more for action stuff. So uh, if I know I'm gonna be in the water with something fast moving. So um, on this trip, I use this for uh, small black tip sharks that were moving really, really fast. So again, what I love about this rig is how fast it is to change. So all I have to do is unscrew these four screws Rescrew the uh, pistol grip on, and I've got a completely different setup. I have started using the for really close up shots, and I think this is again probably a first for the surf housing world. Um, we're using a 100 millimeter Canon's uh, much loved uh, 100 millimeter uh, 2.8 um, uh, macro lens. Beautiful lens. Never thought I would ever shoot macro with this uh, setup. So the way that I do that is I take the, this flat port that is also good for the 16 to 35 and I combine it with the um, spacer port. So again, I've got a totally different port configuration in seconds. So this is, this is the macro setup. Then this is my 5D Mark II, my old trusty 5D Mark II. This thing's been through a lot of adventures. I've shot many, many of some of my favorite shots with this camera, but it's now my backup camera, so it's been retired. Um, so it rarely, this trip, it didn't even get used at all. So it's really more of a backup camera. But um, another lens that I use underwater is the Canon 24-70 f4.0, uh, um, which is nice for sort of medium macro shots if you're, if you're trying to shoot, say, um, maybe a close-up of something like an anemone fish, clownfish, or a, a real tight shot on a particular coral reef you can set this macro setting. It's not super good at, at 24. I, I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a compromise on the uh, water clarity, but as a kind of a medium macro, it works quite well. And again, we've got a different port configuration that is easy to change. So this one, we need to use the trumpet um, port. So because, I'll show you how this works. So again, with the spacer uh, port, um, of course, this lens, when I'm at 70, it's actually extending. So the issue is it, when it's at 24, at the widest setting, um, if we didn't have a, this trumpet, see, it, see it's so wide, if we didn't have this wide um, part of the port, you would have pretty significant uh, vignetting. So you don't want that. So for this setup, I simply, again, reattach the spacer port and ready to go. At the top of the camera, and this, this has been a great innovation in terms of um, getting more value out of my shoots and providing more value to my clients. I shoot um, 4K video in this. I, I recently switched from, I, I had a, this is a GoPro mount. This is not a GoPro. So I, I, I switched from GoPro to the DJI Osmo, which I have to say is a much better camera for many reasons. Um, I, well, it's A, it's cheaper than, than, than the GoPro. The specs are better. They're constantly adding um, new features with the firmware, which I've never, I've never seen GoPro do that. You can remove the uh, lens port here, 
on on the Osmo, and you can substitute in like a ND filter. I have a polarizer, which is great, of course, because I shoot in tropical locations all the time. So um, the great thing is with this, I simply attach the Osmo to the top, and I use these are uh, GoPro mounts, but I like it to be a bit above because sometimes if the port extends, you'll get you know a tiny edge of the port. So obviously you don't want that. Um, Osmo rock solid, so it's it's great. I can shoot both photo and video at the same time, kind of doubling the 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 uh, potential value to my client or you know whoever I'm working with. Also in the DJI family, I really don't go anywhere now without the DJI Mavic 2, which is just an absolutely awesome piece of equipment. Um, I've shot so many magazine covers with this. Uh, it, it, you know it, it it it's compact. It fits in my carry-on bag. I mean, this, this, this is a full production for shooting everything from 40 meters below the surface to 100 meters above the surface. So amazingly compact, I think, uh, this rig. I mean, all the really central components fit in my, literally fit in my carry-on and my small bag. So that's, that's how I like to travel, lightweight and fast. And the great thing, too, uh, using this um, DJI combo is the color space of the Osmo perfectly matches the color space of the Mavic, which is awesome. So it's the D City like um, flat color profile. So you can add your color grade on it and, and get really, really top level results with a compact camera. Uh, the boat's coming back. We're, we're uh, at sea here. Um, this is the 7200, which I use more uh, obviously above water. This, this would never work underwater, but I, I, I like to have a uh, medium zoom like that so I can shoot you know, tight shots of stuff um, above the surface. All right, so that's it for the camera equipment, but I have to mention, I have another piece of equipment that I kind of always have with me. So I've, I've been working with Patagonia for years and this, uh, this new Ulex top is amazing. So I'd use this for diving, surfing, free diving, any sort of situation where I'm gonna be cold and maybe wet, this thing is great. Um, Patagonia board shorts, pretty much live in these again. And the last piece of essential equipment is this boat. I cannot say enough about the Seven Seas and the crew, captain. The whole team is amazing. Always puts you in the absolute best place you can possibly be in the most beautiful parts of the most beautiful places on earth. So we've, we've recently just gone through the absolute heart of the Coral Triangle. And I cannot say enough. It's literally 20,000 images in the can for this trip. And I guess that is it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and thanks again to Liquid Eye and um, DJI for providing me with all this great equipment that allows me to do what I do. Um, and I would last mention this is this this recording is actually being made on the DJI, the very new DJI Osmo Pocket 2, which this is the first trip that I've actually tried this camera on, and I have to say, it is amazing. Um, I'm able to pick up and really quickly uh, create videos like this. Whereas before it was like, okay, you know, I got to set up the ND filter, got to set up the tripod, I got to get the audio equipment, I got to mic myself, blah, 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 blah. A lot of, um, you know, it's kind of an impediment to sharing this stuff. And I love how easy and quick it is um, to share, you know, real quick videos like this, just off the top of my head um, with this little camera. So I, I would really recommend it, it also comes with uh, this um, lavalier mic, which I guess works by Bluetooth, seamlessly, super easy, sound quality is good. I was recording a little bit of guitar. You can check that, that out in some other videos. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll look out for you in, an, in a future video. Thanks.